This is our site where we're going to be doing a new project uh, looking at high value vegetable crop production under high tunnels. Uh, as you can see in the background, we have the frames now built uh, and erected for four separate high tunnels. Each one of these is about 100 feet long and 30 feet wide. And we'll be planting tomatoes in there this first season. We'll plow up the ground and work it up into beds where it's uh, plantable. And then uh, we'll build some walls here. And they'll have a, a 10 foot by 20 foot opening. And then uh, once we get the walls built, we'll cover it with a tarp, with, which is a, a fiberglass impregnated tarp to help uh, with the uh, sunshine can still actually come in and everything and uh, keep most of the weather out. And then uh, the sides will roll up about five foot. The uh, end walls, the 20 by 10 foot door will roll all the way up 10 foot. And so we'll have a, a nice breezeway coming all the way through the, the high tunnel here. We'll have uh, drip tape, an RDI and an SDI, which is surface drip irrigation and root demand irrigation. Those will be uh, put in, in each five foot bed. Each, each bed will we'll have three beds per zone, four zones per tunnel, so about 40 foot lengthwise by three five foot beds will be one zone and those will all be uh, controlled individually with uh, RDI on two of the two of the zones and, and SDI on two of the zones and from there we'll be able to uh, do precision irrigation and uh, precision uh, fertilizer. Eventually we'll be looking at more than tomatoes we'll be looking at all sorts of uh, other vegetable crops that could be grown in high tunnels uh, and we're going to have to work out a cropping system because uh, you can't grow one vegetable uh, every year in, inside the entire tunnel so you're going to have to just like you would in a normal field we're going to have to figure out uh, rotation schedules we're going to have to think about how we're going to irrigate how often we need to irrigate one of the reasons that we're doing this research uh, is because, uh, as, as most of you know, the Ogallala Aquifer is certainly limited and in most cases the, the water level is dropping. Uh, the, the water availability is becoming more and more scarce every year. It's more difficult for farmers to pump it, more expensive for them to pump. And so obviously it's really important that everybody make the most out of every inch of water that they apply uh, that they can. And we strongly believe that in some of the, some of the areas uh, where they're just running out of water, uh, they're no longer going to be able to grow high value crops like peanuts or potatoes uh, or even corn because these all require a lot of water. Uh, whereas you could grow, if you had a high tunnel, you could grow tomatoes and the amount of money that you could make for every inch of water would vastly uh, outpace what you could make on any other crop that we're currently growing in the panhandle. So the potential for making more money with the water that you have available uh, is really good. And, and so that's one of the, the reasons that we are trying to uh, look at this uh, new production system with the high tunnels and high value vegetable crops.